The wind, rain and surf in recent weeks have taken a toll on South Maui beaches. Residents and visitors are asking, where did all the sand go and will it come back? Nikki Shenfeld spoke with an expert to find out. Here is Olua Beach in Wailea on a normal day. And here it is today as a rocky shoreline. Down the road is Keavakupu. Here it is on December 23rd, and here it is one month later on January 23rd. It's not unusual for these beaches to lose some sand this time of year, but how quickly it went has raised some concerns. Well, every time we kind of go, sure hope that sand comes back because our beach is gone, but uh, this one definitely seems worse. Copeland lives by Kamaole One Beach in Kihei and shows us what it looks like on a typical day and how it is today with about a 10 foot drop off. The south end of Kamaole One, not only did sand get torn away, but the bluffs that kind of overlook that end of the beach got torn way back and are now a lot closer to the sidewalk on South Kihei Road. He says unusually high surf slammed onto shore in mid to late January and has stuck around. And I don't know if it's a combination of the storms, the big west swell that uh, hit this side of town, or rising sea levels of climate change, but this one definitely seems worse because we're actually losing land, not just the beach. Experts say it's all of the above. It started with south-southwest winds the entire month of January, to high tides at the end of the month, to an unusual swell direction. Persistent strong winds from a direction like that, uh, which which is rather unusual, uh, is going to move sand in ways that uh, we're not used to. He says it's likely most of the sand will return. This is a an erosional event, a uh, temporary event. But, you know, uh, as sea levels continue to rise, these events will continue to chew away at land that they didn't have access to. Uh, behind the beach. While all shorelines from Maui to Kauai have suffered from erosion, he says Maui is the worst, with Haleakala playing a small contributing role. Haleakala is still uh, rumbling. It still experiences lava movement inside of that volcano, which means that that volcano is still in a state of pushing down on Earth's crust subsiding, we call this. He says tide gauges in Kahului show Maui has a higher long-term range of sea level rise over Oahu and Kauai. Other areas of Maui have made headlines for erosion, including Ka'anapali, Puamana, and Ukumehame. Recently, the Department of Land and Natural Resources has been fining beachfront owners for constructing illegal structures to protect their property, as it takes away from the public resource in the long run. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.